coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate you much if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video and you will enjoy every content that i put in this channel so dear friends today's video is a special dedication to all black women on online dating apps just special for you made with love <laughs> guys remember i told you about shining your eyes so today's video is one of those videos that will make you shine your eyes while you are on online dating apps because i'm going to be sharing with you online dating tips for black women 2022 so if you are a black woman you are on online dating apps this year 2022 or you are about to join online dating apps right now 2022 then this video is just perfect for you so i have decided to do this video of today because i think it's very very important that you guys get updated on how to go about online dating or how to do things while you are on online dating apps <laughs> yes because i've been doing videos about online dating and you find that those ladies that that found love maybe year 2010 2014 2015 telling you oh my god bella things are no longer the same compared to the period i was on online dating apps <laughs> you find others saying that bella online dating apps these days is very difficult <laughs> due to the stories that i have been sharing in some of my videos so these ladies that found love those days they really get surprised like oh my god this is the different world <laughs> compared to the time i was on online dating apps and it's true guys because i have experience i have been helping lots of ladies especially ladies who are interested in interracial marriages i know the challenges it's no longer the same and we need to talk about this so that you guys can fall into the hands of the right man you can find that right man for marriage because without updating you maybe a friend of yours that found love on online dating apps those days has been telling you do this do that and when you do it you don't get positive response because things have changed guys <laughs> so that is why i am here to help you guys and without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video our online dating tip number one if you are on online dating apps this year 2022 you really need to work on your online dating profile it's very very important these days those days guys yes you could just you know leave your online dating app like that and people were lucky <laughs> they found the one but right now guys a lot of challenges you have to be smart you have to work on your online dating profile i talked of this i did the whole video about that you can go and watch it so about working on your online dating profile you need to put very attractive photos you really need to take your time and write in your description who you are and what kind of a man you are interested in to add on that guys please be careful on the gender because some ladies won't even bother about the gender part so you find that the site does the work for you they leave it like that i am a woman looking for a woman so your photos will be displayed to fellow women lesbians and you are there like oh my god i'm not receiving any response what went wrong <laughs> it's because your photos have been displayed to fellow women and maybe these women are not even interested in women <laughs> so they won't write to you and you wait and wait and wait so be careful about the gender i am a woman looking for a man it's very very important men who are seriously looking 
for a serious relationship for a woman to marry they go through women's profile to see what they have written to see if it is what they are looking for for make sure that your description have got words that are touchy that will get to this man's heart and push him to write you a message make sure that your photos are so beautiful very catchy very attractive that will push a guy to write you a message these days there is a lot of competition so you have to play your cards very well and you will start playing your cards by working on your online dating profile if you are on online dating apps this year 2022 <laughs> to add on that guys there's some ladies that have been telling me bella i have a question i am in asia example and when i go on a dating app men who are recommended to me are from the same location where i am what can i do i want you to do one of these two things you can write in your description that I am interested in men from Europe and America, any location that you're interested in, or some dating apps, they give you an option to choose the country that you are interested in, in men from that country. So you can do one of those two things if the dating site gives you that option so you can choose go to that dating app and see very well in the description everything if there is a place where they ask you if you're interested in men of a particular country and then write it there if not write it in your description i am interested in men from australia i am interested in men from america or europe so that if a serious man comes and reads your profile and he is from one of those countries or one of those continents that you mentioned then he is going to write to you online dating tip number two for black women if you are on online dating apps this year 2022 then you need to do enough research things have changed guys it's not those days that people used to think that white men are good or all white men are the same <laughs> guys the world does not go that way anymore <laughs> especially the online dating world you need to do enough research about the guy about the country the guy is coming from it's very very important that is why i have been doing videos about how is it like to date men from different countries and unfortunately when i do a video it's not that i talk of everything <laughs> so you have to go ahead and do more research about the country the guy is coming from about men from his country it's very very important this will help you not to find yourself in surprise moments not to find yourself in you know culture shocks not to find yourself in a trap once you start a relationship you fall in love you attach yourself and maybe get married then you come to find out oh my god things are done this way oh my god men from his country are like this oh my god i wish i knew <laughs> yeah so to avoid such kind of regrets it's good that you do enough research it's very very important guys if you are on online dating apps now <laughs> you need to do that that's why i am always insisting and i'll continue insisting guys do enough research before you get yourself into a relationship with a white guy or with any man of any color that is from a different country or from a different culture and by the way guys about knowing the guy i have an example story time <laughs> you know i always give you examples so recently there is a girl that contacted me for help this girl was dating a white guy and they were deeply in love for Christmas, the guy was in Africa with this girl's family. He even engaged her and they were supposed to get married June this year. <laughs> 
guy could go to Africa to meet this lady, stay there for two months, three months, and then return in his country. <laughs> so as they were planning to get married, as they were planning the girl to get the visa to come to Europe, this fiancé of the girl had studied with the brother of the girl in some university. So the guy used to put a girl's photo on his WhatsApp profile. So when the friends saw the girl, they were like, hey, isn't this your sister? <laughs> and then the guy said, yes, she's my sister. How comes that guy is putting her on his profile the guy was like he is engaged to my sister they were like boy the guy is by yes he likes both men and women and he kept it a secret from this girl so when the girl got to know she was broken guys broken she was crying she locked herself in the room she called me crying because at the time she was asking me about the visa process and all that the information i was so happy for her so i knew her love story so she called me she was crying telling me bella i cannot believe this happened this is something that is very sensitive but i have to talk to you i don't have a sister i don't have anyone to talk to apart from my mom I've decided to talk to you so that you can help me. I came to find out now that my boyfriend likes both men and women. I don't know what to do and I am so heartbroken. Please advise me or tell me something because this guy is forcing me to continue the relationship with him because he had planned everything about the wedding. He had invited all his friends and he had paid everything for the wedding so i talked to her and i'm glad i was of a help to her that is why i'm telling you guys get to know a guy very well it's very very important <laughs> number three if you are on online dating apps this year 2022 you are a black woman or you are about to join online dating apps you really need to be very very careful why am i saying this it's because these days it's very very hard to find a genuine man a man that will want to marry you for the right reasons i've been seeing horrible things happening white men marrying black women for wrong reasons that is why i'm telling you to be very very careful because some of white men not all because good white men exist but some of white men think that black women are so desperate, black women are so vulnerable, so I can just step on them anyhow I want. And some men, you find that he had a very bad marriage in the past, then divorced, and maybe this marriage was a toxic one, he was the one who was very abusive, and because he cannot find any white lady that is going to accept his ways of living or accept his character of being abusive, he decides to join online dating apps and find a black woman, put things into his mind that are even not true, that I'll marry a black lady, bring her here, I buy her food, I buy her clothes, stays in a very decent house, give her money, but I'll continue being abusive to her, I'll continue living the life that I was living before. Because black women don't talk, black women are mute, they'll just let you be, they'll just let you step on them. Exist men like that on online dating apps. That is why it's very, very important, my dear beautiful ladies who are interested in white men, be very careful that men like that exist. So, before you jump into marriage with a man that is divorced, especially men who are divorced or divorced, <laughs> English is not my language, guys. I'm trying don't accept to be married at first sight or first meeting he engages you or he lies to you get married to me you accept without knowing him well don't do that mistake 
do him a visit in his country stay there see how he behaves around you ask him some questions about his past and if you get a chance to talk to the sisters or people close to him white people don't keep secrets <laughs> Most white people don't keep secrets. They are going to tell you like telling you, oh his ex-wife this or happened this so you might get something that is going to rescue you from entering an abusive relationship. This is my advice guys. It's so so important. Things have changed. We are in 2022. You have to shine your eyes. <laughs> yes. Online dating tip number four. If you are on online dating apps, you are a black woman, you are looking for a white man for marriage. This year, 2022, you really need to be aware that on online dating apps exist crazy men. Very crazy with crazy hobbies so you need to be very careful and see how the man you are chatting to behaves around you i'm talking of messages because you haven't met yet he is texting you so through his texts or through his messages you will know what kind of a man you are dealing with guys don't be blinded with money don't be blinded with the sweet words don't accept to be blinded in any way. Observe the man you are chatting to very, very well. I told you there is a risk of you leaving your country. Go visit this guy. So if you're going to ignore how this guy behaves around you, you will find yourself in trouble with no one to help you in a foreign country. Like last time, there is a guy that was chatting with a lady the things that the guy was talking about the guy was like you are going to call me your master you are not going to do anything without a master's permission <laughs> he talked of crazy crazy things and if it was me that message was very disrespectful i was going to block the guy the same day i'm going to put that message there so that you can see how online dating apps these days have got men with crazy minds tip number five if you are a black woman you are on online dating apps this year or you're about to join then i want to advise you this if you chat with a guy on online dating apps and then this guy starts asking you about your past and we take an example, you are in Africa and this guy is on the other side of the world, <laughs> another continent, then he wants to know so much about your past. He wants to dig deep about your past. <laughs> and funny enough, it's you that is going to relocate to this guy's country. <laughs> so if this guy is asking you a lot of questions about your past, don't think that the guy is so much interested in you maybe this guy wants to know how easy you are and you start against you in the future <laughs> some guys will ask you how many white men have you been with so if you start telling them oh this one came he was from norway this one came he was from germany and this one came he was in america but nothing worked out i am going to assure you that this guy too is going to come use you and then leave you <laughs> yes so he will use your past against you or some men will ask you how many boyfriends have you been with in the past then you're like i've been with 10 because <laughs> you're in love don't make that mistake you can just tell the guy i've been with two boyfriends or three that's it because you're not virgin anymore <laughs> that does not make a difference what i am trying to tell you guys is not to hide the truth is not to hide your past no but don't go so deep into your past with a guy that you are just you know getting to know each other <laughs> 
get to know the guy and when the and when the guy falls in love with you hopelessly and maybe marries you once in a while you can you know <laughs> start opening up a little, a little if it is necessary if not just keep your past for yourself open up a little bit again guys there is no harm doing that because some guys are very jealousy so you don't know how the guy is going to you know react if you start telling him your past <laughs> better make him fall in love first and when you know his character if he is so jealousy or he's just a normal guy that will also start opening up more about his past you open up too <laughs> that's my advice guys i've been seeing ladies getting in trouble by telling their past like digging deep into their past and then these guys use the same past to punish these ladies that's why i thought it is very very important if you are on online dating apps to be aware of that tip number six if you are on online dating apps this year 2022 you really need to be very careful of the guys that wants to use women for financial help some white men i'm talking more of white men because most ladies are interested in interracial dating you find that they have got a lot of debts in their countries they don't have a job they are there jobless they are broke i'm sorry to say this they go on a dating app start chatting with a girl and they will ask you what have you studied so that they get to know if you come to their country you'll be able to get a job then you start working for him you become his money machine <laughs> i had this money machine <laughs> from the girl that is going through a divorce and she was in an interracial marriage <laughs> yeah she was saying that the guy was using her as a money machine so this guy is going to take you from africa bring you to his country then you start working he pay his debts after he is going to dump you ask for a divorce <laughs> yes so be aware of such kind of guys get to know the job the guy is doing don't date a guy that is jobless please please i ask you my dear beautiful ladies even if you want to come to europe if the guy is not working do not come do not enter into that relationship i have a lot of stories that have been going on that have even ended badly because the guys were not working yes so make sure you go into a relationship with a guy that has got a job that is financially stable because here in europe i'm going to talk of italy if the guy is not yet financially stable that guy is not going to get married he's not going to get married that is why you'll find him still living with parents until he has got a job that is stable he will marry so get to know if the guy has got a job if he is jobless just leave him no matter how much you love him just leave him because it's going to be very very hard for you if you accept getting married to him in the end you turn to be his money machine <laughs> who wanna be a money machine no one <laughs> tip number seven because things have changed those days you could go on a dating app and find lots of guys that have paid for the subscription looking for a serious relationship looking for a woman to marry but these days guys play a lot exist guys that want to stay in a dating app and don't want to pay they don't want to be men <laughs> so due to that so due to that if you are a lady and you are capable of paying for a subscription on a dating app this is my advice do enough research of the dating sites that have got good reviews good successful stories pay for the subscription and try your luck 
who knows you might find the right one but like i said if you pay for the subscription chat with men who have paid too don't go and chat with guys who have not paid i think i talked of this in my last video and to add on paying for the subscription guys especially you ladies that are interested in rich guys you will have to pay to find these rich guys because exist dating sites for only rich guys and you can't just go to those dating apps <laughs> and use the free version you will have to pay <laughs> yes be aware of that <laughs> Tip number eight, if you are on online dating apps this year, 2022, you are a black woman, you are interested in white men, I'm kindly requesting you to remove that mentality or that thinking that white men are different. White men are so good. White men are so respectful. White men always say the truth. Remove that. I've been talking of this, but I am insisting because every day, guys, <laughs> I get questions about white men or you chat with a lady, you find out that she has got a totally different picture about white men. Thinking that they are honest, she's chatting with a guy, a guy has planned everything that he is going to be doing in Africa and then tells her that I want to meet you, you will be in the hotel with me at the time I'll be there. Please guys, I've talked of adventurous white men who come to Africa or go to the Philippines only for sale as tourists. So you really need to be aware of those guys. Let's take an example. You are a Kenyan lady living in Nairobi and then you are chatting with a white man online. He's telling you that I'm coming to Kenya, but I'll be in Mombasa. So I will go straight to Mombasa and then you will join me. Where is the interest of this guy? Where is the effort of this guy to know you? Your family is in Nairobi. That's where you live. Why go to Mombasa? Why ask you to go join him? You need to ask yourself such kind of questions. He should first come to you, get to know you, and together you will plan whether to go to Mombasa, whether to go to Diami, but after meeting you, not telling you come to Mombasa or come to Diani, I am here or come to Zanzibar, join me there. Guys, you really need to be aware of these people. They just want to play games with you. Not all white men are honest. Some have got their wives, especially right now, guys, this year, 2022, really things have changed. On online dating apps, I can say 50% of white men that are on online dating apps are married, still married. And when it is about summer, that is when you will see them a lot. You will receive a lot of messages if you are on online dating apps telling you that I am coming to your country, I am coming to see you. Be very careful when a guy tells you that because most of them are only interested in your goodies and then return to their wives in Europe or in America or Australia or Canada. It is my greatest hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I love you so much guys, you're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.